Well, hello again and welcome to episode 6 of Epic Drives Western Australia. Coming up, my brother Matt in his 105 series cruiser and me in my trusty Hilux, of course, are heading north for the day to the well-known four-wheel drive tracks in Norbinga and heading on the coast to Seabird. I cannot wait. Let's get stuck into it. Roll the intro. This is Epic Drives Western Australia, the channel dedicated to showcasing this great state. Join me, my family, and my mates as we travel this truly amazing state we call home and discover what makes this place truly epic. Episodes are released on the first of every month. Why not subscribe? And please don't hesitate to like, share, or comment. And don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss our next adventure. Will Binger is bounded by Wanneroo to the south the former Jinjin stock route to the east, Woodridge to the north, and the Indian Ocean to the west. Apart from Wanneroo Road, Wilbinga has no sealed roads. Let's start off this episode by quickly talking about tyre pressures. Now most modern four wheel drives have tyres specifically designed for the highway. They're typically as narrow as possible to reduce noise and friction for improved fuel economy. Now unfortunately, narrow tyres make cars sink deep into soft surfaces like sand. When your tyres sink in, the front tyres end up with a small berm around them and your wheels are not able to climb over it. This results in a lot of extra resistance. More resistance requires more torque or power to keep the vehicle moving. To add to this, traction is not a good thing on sand. The sand particles, they're not stable and the tyres tend to dig in deep and create even more resistance. So by airing down our tyres, the tyre's footprint increases and they don't sink in as deep. That translates to less resistance and therefore less chance of digging in. As you'll see in the video, this is not a guarantee. Whether it was my tyres or my skill level, I got bogged numerous times. So with that said, let's get on with it. With two rocks now closed to four-wheel drivers due to development, the best beach option in the area is to travel a little bit further north to Wilbinger, following a maze of sand tracks, and you end up at the coastal town of Seabird, about 100 kilometers from Perth. Tracks from Wolfinger Road provide access to isolated beaches. This place has no population, making it an ideal four-wheel drive playground, and it's only an hour's drive from there. <laughs>
day was getting on and Maddie had other commitments back home, so I headed off on my own to finish the trip to Seabird. A short but unavoidable stint on the blacktop and I was back on the sand at Gilderton. coming to an end, so was the trip. I arrived in Seabird in time to watch the sun set as I aired up my tyres and headed for home. Well that's it for this episode. If you would like detailed driving instructions as well as the GPS coordinates for this trip, see the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to help me grow my channel and feel free to comment, like, share. Join us on the 1st of April as we travel down the Franklin River to Quorum Beach. I'm Dan, thanks for watching.